I want to talk about, you know, you have to decide for yourself whether you want to change. Yes, we can, you know, pastors or or people like myself that just share our journeys and, and things like that. We can help. We can show you tools that have helped us. Like Zeet Seed have been a great tool in my life to help me with struggles. And Elohim has put a friend or two in my life that has helped me to help me to see things in a proper perspective. Uh, but you have to decide for yourself. He says, Yeshua says, if you love me, you will keep my commandments. And you have to decide as part of accepting Yeshua. He was the Passover lamb. Well, what the Passover lamb, what happened that night? The angel of death passed over the people and those that had the blood. That is so significant and people lose it. But you have to decide whether the blood, you will apply the blood of Yeshua to your own temple by following his word. He's, he sacrificed his life for us. How much is it to to keep his word, to keep the Sabbath, to keep the holy days, to, to not eat pork, to not eat unclean animals? We should want to do that out of love. I can't no I can't do it, no pastor can make you do it. They can throw you out of their congregation, but they can't make you do any of this stuff. And Yeshua didn't have anyone, make anyone do anything. He said, if you love me, you will keep my commandments. And, you know, people say, well, Christ is God. Well, then why don't you keep, the, then his commandments are the Torah, aren't they? Um... But you have to decide for yourself. You know, the hyssop branch that you see in the, in the crucifixion. The, the, why did they, why was it hyssop? Because it was a pattern of hyssop was used in the Passover to apply the blood. The a hyssop was used to apply the blood. It was also used in the red heifer sacrifice. It was used in the cleansing of of uh, lepers and the scarlet thread and all all those things. And they what they put on him? They put a scarlet robe on him, representing, in my opinion, it represented. It was a representation of him taking our sins upon him. So, you know, whether we choose to apply the blood, and you can read it in Hebrews 5, 9. You can, you can read in Hebrews 5, 9, the latter part of the verse. It says, well, I'll read the whole thing. Having been made perfect, he became to those who, who obey him the source of eternal salvation there there's a thing those who obey him those who obey him he became salvation to this lawlessness those who obey just like Acts 5 30 32 where it talks about the coming upon those who obey it, it, the, the which is talking about anointing right? I mean it is an anointing of the Holy Spirit but you look at Acts 5 verse 32 it says and we are witnesses of these things and so is the Holy Spirit who God has given 
to those who obey. So he's only he gives the Holy Spirit to those who obey. You want to receive the Holy Spirit? Obey the Word. That's how you end up with the circumcision of the heart. You read the Word. You obey. You know, read, pray, and obey. And the more you obey, the stronger your prayers are. But you have to decide for yourself. No one can make you no one can decide that for you. We can give you tools to overcome temptation, which I, I, I hope that I've shown that, uh, of how Torah... To, once you're, you're saved, once you have received Yeshua as your Lord and your Savior and your Lord, Lord, because you obey. Love your neighbor as yourself and love God with all your love Elohim Yahweh with all your heart, soul, and mind and spirit. That's what that's one of the thing one of the passages that he used when Satan tempted that Yeshua used when Satan tempted him. You know he died for us. He lived a perfect life so that he could be that unblemished lamb. We're called to be living sacrifices, living stones, because we, Yeshua was the chief cornerstone, and we we become the rut. We add to that, I believe. And how we, what foundation? And you can read about the the two foundations and the one who had a solid foundation built on the rock was the one who obeyed. Well, what is our who is our rock? Yeshua is our rock. He is the living Torah. He is the rock. The living Torah. And you can look, read that throughout the the Torah where the people the tabernacle was at the center of the tribes at the center of the the group and that's what it is it is at the center of our lives the gospel the his sacrifice his life those are all things he is at the center and he has to be at the center of your life the center of your heart you know in your heart that he will cleanse all the the rest of it, your walk, your brain, your but you have to only you can decide that. Shalom, shalom, and may Yahweh bless and keep you.